Morning, Nane Hong, Laka Jenumu Raising Babies 101, Ribuaka Etiquette and Manners, Mobaning. How do you go about teaching your offspring how to behave? And our dishy daddy of the day, Stone Siate. All this and more coming up today. Welcome to Raising Babies 101 with me, Carol LaFori. Now, I know we're all guilty of this. How many times have you or your partner told your children, baby, say hello, and at times even push them further and say, give them a hug and a kiss to auntie or uncle, even people who these kids might not even relate to? Yep even strangers. Joining us to discuss the idea of forcing little ones to greet and show affection to people they may not be comfortable around are Ose Caroline Pofi, social worker, Gogoram Tibe, childminder, and counsellor Mamnungkule Gongiti. Welcome to you all ladies and a big welcome to my lovely studio audience. <laughs> so, Erike Tomelwena, Mam Nguleko, I think culturally, Bana are forced from a young age who do these elders in any situation. Um, why is this important? Me sent to buy what you go bony sent on yip, in the lag bony sent on yip, mobbing in Lela Umut, Mobutum Hage, no ma shambum tabuze. Got a maushala upeg. Umtana maganga fun you witting hage. Pushila and Guti, I go hacking in kind. No bangalis was cut at a phone. Mutana Majagasa, Kulu lady around Mina, Mina Sengam Sega Foster Maju Mamake, Mhacking in kind. Mongam hacking Zokshire, who we want to learn to look at Axu, you from Gienza Leon. Coco, as a child man that gets a horror, Utola, Ukopa and Leban Abanyani, Hava Copa and Leba, but to elders, let me put it that way. How do Medisa and Tate Mang Mang, do Medisa, Mamma Nijuang Juang, one about Akibat? And sometimes for but what it can be rather embarrassing. How one ah how now who do medis? Like for you as a parent, we go like that. Maybe I I can do one 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 sense. What do you say, Kataba? Kataba, eh, yona ite kare one ah how hola na kong mutu o umuholo how much ebi na kero osha hilo rusalite and then hona lilinzulele na kong don't talk to strangers or into ebi alu na kong otats abari mutu akatang kita hambi so hasarati haki mahapele tihori ayetintu ebi kare haki bala bibili e proverbs twenty two verse six Iri hudisa mwana kati la eta banya hai. Iri le haula aske atoha huyona. Aziboru mkono unhudisi teso. Hurumoto hakaru wansuara nji wansuna oru nketa bia nkisa mkwa hila. Haki khoni. Haki khoni. Weli kia mklompa mwoto mkono pati. Aki inaheli noma kimo maanfela kire ansu na oranke zi wankara aki mutzibi. Caroline, I'm going to bring you in mutabeng ena. What are your thoughts kayone ishu e yaba na likuba fosta ukhoriba dumidi di seba wabonte shompa? I think it's our own, kiki culture engwe etilinga. Hence ki, holi bella, lot of parents say we don't know our children. And then the battle tabisa batu baba. And hey, malumati le or mawanati le from wherever at le. We still first stay home and amu amu hack. And banaba fa bani. We na le banaba baba too strong willed. Like how no we no. And we na le baba ngoba bu no. How mo ga du medisa and du mo puja or du mo du medisa. How ga how tabisa. But now e e e builder. Kongwane, who ask about little choices because we want our kids to be confident and about little choices, and about it, so we we respect their choices. Is it important, Khorwena, as Mutwadi Khori, you talk banaba lona banaba how through process eo kapo? What do you feel? Because at the end of the day, lena ke Mutwadi ake batlo Khorwena ka harike na mukamuring kapo harike na in a room ask a dubedi sangwana because ona little feelings. For me, I feel Khori from a young age wana twenty at zebe shompo. So tina si funa abantu ana benz, kota tina si nini? So anguza gumfasumta na buli su anti, mina ngambuli su anti. 
Okay. Yeah, so important mm -hmm. to an example. Mm -hmm. Your thoughts, uh, Caroline? Because children balance through consistency. Yes. Consistency. And we know that a child who's two years, they are, their world revolves around them. Mm -hmm. They are toddlers. Mm -hmm. And they do things, as long as only consistent as a mom, as, as a caregiver. This is an example. I do medicine every day. Uh, if if, if uh, you, you ask something, it's in a polite manner. Mm -hmm. And children, they learn through that. Is there a time that for someone who is a person 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 how to love at Papa Holobali ten Camol, Camola Peg, Dumedisa, Dumelan Hono, Dumela Mama, or whatsoever. And then we comp always Oscar is a noma Kajuang, Biaka Olinguana, Uma Mele, Hacker Moena, Dumedisan Hono. When Oscar Some very interesting thoughts here, ladies. Um, I really appreciate that. Many different teachings we follow when it comes to Masia Arena, but we've all heard the sayings Ering, sharing is caring. And have you even taught this to your children? When are, what are your rules and etiquettes, Gabana Bahao, when it comes to sharing? You decide. <laughs> So my studio audience, should we force our children to share? Yes or no? Please vote now. Well, it seems that it's half half. Rila Radzwa onto the streets to find out what you think. Katabaena. Hi, Raising Babies. My name is Ceci. Uh, I live in Leondale, and then these are my two kids. The one is Nzalo, she's six, and then this is Nkulu, he's 15 months. I've got a big parenting problem, which is I don't know whether I should teach them how to share or force them to share. Raising babies, please help us to find like a common ground where big sister here, Nzalo, would understand, should understand that she has to share with the little brother and also sort of like teach him to know that he should share his things with other people because sharing is caring. Wow, some interesting thoughts there. Well, joining us in studio, Hubua Gattabe is clinical psychologist Mzamo Mbuli, who is also the thorn amongst the roses. Welcome, Mzamo. Thank you for having me. So sharing, but it is caring. And Banaba Banyane, it's very hard for them sometimes to comprehend the Hore no. You have a sister, you have a brother, couple cousin, since Oshere Lebone. How do you do it as Mutswadi? The way you do it as Mutswadi is what you do as a parent. So before we teach our children what to do, the child must see it from you. As you can imagine, a child, most personal possessions are toys, food, and so forth. Do you as a parent share your most valuable possessions? I think that's the starting point. What do you do as a parent? Instead of force, trying to force behavior or teaching a child to do something you yourself don't do, that's very confusing. It might be very confusing for the child. Mm. You know, sometimes in some cases, uh, chocolate, and then later, mm. chocolate. Mm. I need to manage finally. Oh, 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 Abantwana ba ya zala. Lo mnyumtani ne choi lake, ne? Aga funukshera ne choi lake wabani. Sega bona lo, upete itoi. Aga satandi leli lake manje. Sega funa leli la lo. Sega ze uyakala u trauma ten trams because manje ye na ufuna le choi. Ogushuguti lo manje sekfanele asafare anga sabine choi. Ene mauti anige lo le choi lake geba exchange. 
yano how bona di case tsena ha bana ba lwana mo playground kapo ba sa utlwane ka roe wa no tshwere e le o mong o wa e batla normally o resolve jwang taba eo ke ya bua le o ke e e phela ha se a ga wa ke re nela o mong o atla le ka yona ka ruwena to ye ha se a ha wa ona yona and then ba padisana le yena he ha ile ru wa dumela sheran to e le le ba bid but o ska e lela ru wena o ba pale ka yona e se ya hao eh and on carol i know for kids it's quite hard to comprehend comprehend a hore no goloi ena ha se ya ka kapo bicycle ena ha se ya ka ha ba tlhaloganye fo bone a ke re kontlong everything ba tlhalang ka yona ke ya bone hmm ke ya bone and then it is so unfortunate because when i was 2 years we they are selfish mm. and the chance we live but about two years and between two and five the world revolves around them yeah. and they are just like it's abona and that's where teaching is a process yeah. they're not going to grasp everything who will live on at that time hey who it's a hit that incident yeah. Yeah. so you need to be consistent and over with that it's a process as a as, as a parent yeah. and just to reiterate what you're saying when when you're playing with your child yeah. This is you explain to your child. This is why we share. Mm, is this part of the teaching process? It's part yeah. of the teaching process. Depending on the type of values you want to teach your children, we mm. live in a Western world, but yes. we do want to sometimes instill African um, cultures and and values. It's not only language. So umfundi sometimes mm. na umuntu mo buntu mo bantu mo ba mo ba si share skazu wood injalo injalo. What happens if ukhola muntlung and you're an only child and how interact the hangata lady cousins lady other children uruta jwang wana of an only who's the only child mo family in khore this is how you share so sure. I, th- i think for that child would be much more difficult to share because like it's the only one who are they sharing with because this is my toy mm. this is my um mm. books and so forth so that 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 can be difficult but as my colleague has said you as a parent when you're playing with the child sharing your own things yes. sharing with the child playing with it playing with the child sharing her toys with yourself that's that's a way you can teach that single uh, child which this is how we share mm-hmm. do we force ba na ho share yes or no no we don't no. force them gogo le na ke no don't force them mm-hmm. no I agree. don't force them don't force them mm, no, don't force them. so you don't force them according to everyone at the table but you encourage conversation and do as you do so teach your children to do the things you do that's what we are learning here today you all have the information now but at the end of the day kilela pala how you decide more after the break sesitang more raising babies 101 we talk about introverted children And later, Ridula Fad tell me dishy daddy stone siate. Kala mo khala kha pe mo ina le hola rona la raising babies 101. What do children learn and play and how can you help them get better at it? It's today's easy peasy. <laughs> Now looking at our children and how they learn through play and to help us do that we've got speech therapist Samantha Smith and Farron Schneiderman an educational psychologist and play therapist. Welcome ladies. Thank you. Well let me start with you Samantha. Yes. Um you are going to show us how to teach children to play. Yes. So Okay. Play is exceptionally important for language and learning development, um, and just physical play for children. They can learn sort of gross motor activities when they're blo- doing blocks, when they're playing in the garden. But also, you can actually use play activities with your child to develop their language, especially those children who are a little bit more passive communicators than active communicators. Okay. So what I've got here, um, just as a, a great tool for parents to use, it's a clear plastic block box, as you can see. Um, it has to be. a clear and you have to be able to clip the lid okay. um, so that the, the child so the child can't op- um, get to the toys without asking okay so basically you're structuring the activity so the child has to use their words to communicate mm-hmm. um so for example um let's say for and then you can you can model the language that they, that you want from them so okay. for example um if you want the child to start building sentences like um want boat or want train okay. then you would actually model them model to them so what would you want honey honey bun do you want your train or do you want the the boat mm-hmm. and then ideally the child would say want boat and then we open 
Okay. We give them the toy straight away. Which age group is this? So you can use it for any age group. These type of toys are very motivating for most children from about one and a half upwards. Um, and you would just structure the language activity according to the language level you want to build. So for example, a two-year-old, you might be working at a two-part sentence structure, yes. like want toy. But for a four or five-year-old, you might be structuring it more at, um, you know, daddy driving the car or daddy is driving the car. So do you want daddy to drive the car or do you want mommy to drive the train? Okay. Um, so you're giving them both choice options and the child has to use the words and has to have all those parts of the sentence to um, get the toy or, or whatever. And then obviously the playing with the toy is the reinforcing activity. Okay, yeah. all right, cool. So Farron, I know that you do therapy through play. Explain to us what, what does that mean and how, what do we do here? So play therapy is basically to help children um, express themselves through the use of play. Okay. So often with adults, they use words to communicate, but children don't often have the language to communicate. Okay. So they use toys um, to express their feelings, to express their emotions, anything that's worrying them. Um, and usually there's a significance to each toy that they use to play. Okay. So... Uh, um, they can use any kind of toys. I'm not actually demonstrating as such because it can be whatever they choose to play with. Obviously, you don't want them to choose um, very um, violent toys like guns, but it can play a role in, in the playroom. Okay. Um, and we use play therapy to help develop the child. And again, like um, Samantha says, um, it helps with growth development and it helps with um, cognitive development. And also um, part of it is you can use different methods to, to guide the play. So depending on the child's emotional situation, so if like they lack control in the home environment, you can use um, choice like um, Samantha was doing, so to ask them which one they choose. And it uh, gives them the perceived control over their environment, over what they want to play with. Okay. And, and how important is, is, is play for children? Exceptionally important. Yeah. Um, play, a lot of people don't realise that play is an important precursor to language development. Because play in itself, when you know when children start pretend play, like when they pretend that, you know, the block is a phone and they're talking on the phone. Yes. Um, that's called symbolic play. And um, language is essentially a symbol-based system. Mm -hmm. So children um, need to develop that symbolic play behaviour to develop language skills and the appropriate language skills. Okay. Now, Farron, are there certain toys that should be prioritised by parents? Drawing utensils, like colouring in stuff. Um, it also develops your fine motor. Um, Play-Doh is very useful because it, it can allow for creativity and allow for fine motor development. Um, also, in terms of, um, like, emotional, you need nurturing toys, dolls, um, Barbies for girls, mm. um, depending on the age, obviously. And then also, um, like some soldiers, like the army men are nice for boys and cars. Um, and it just allows for, for your imagination to explore the toys. Mm -hmm. And that allows for development in all aspects. Mm -hmm. What does a parent do if, if a child doesn't want to play or has no interest? Well, I'd be concerned, and it depends... Um, what uh, what we're seeing. So, for example, if you're seeing a child who does very atypical play behaviour, for example, a child who just might, who's four and just wants to stack, that for me would be a red flag for some other possible developmental um, difficulties like possibly autism and so forth. Okay. So play is very important. We use play to determine where a child is sitting developmentally. Do you have any other words of advice for us? No, just to agree with Samantha on that and also to let the child play indoors and outdoors. You know, there's lots of things outside that they can also play with. Mm -hmm. That's also important for their development. Awesome. Thank you so much, ladies. We've learned a lot about Thank how you. to play with our kids and the importance of play. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Well, you've heard it. Let the children play inside and outside. Right now, it's time for our baby shower. <laughs> Okay, Mubukhedi, as you have seen, Huhudi Sabana can be a very, very costly affair. To make life a little easier for you, segment Ena, Ya Baby Shower, Gihuhutusa, that's on Edimpo. This week, we have a baby hamper voucher to give away. All you need to do is answer yes or no to one very simple question correctly. Do children use toys to express their emotions? To enter this competition, Kubunolo, where now set when it's the Osiete, Kiko answer this question yes or no most social media platforms. Answer correctly, and one lucky viewer will randomly be selected to win a baby hamper voucher valued at 1,000 Rand. The winner will be announced on our social media. Best of luck. <laughs> 
Mariboa, we meet an extrovert parent who struggles with raising her introverted child. Later in Baby's Health A to Z, we unpack the letter P. And later, we're on the couch with Dishy Daddy, Stone Siade. <laughs> You're still tuned into SABC2 and this is Raising Babies 101. It's time for the big question. What do you do when you are an extrovert and your children are introverts? Harshep. Hi, Raising Babies. My name is Petty Lebofugeng and I live in Vetbogi. Um, I'm a mother to two introverts while I'm an extrovert and I'm just going to share with you how it is to, to raise the babies. My kids are introverted and I picked that up because when I'm with them, they're able to interact fine with me. But when they're in a crowd or when there's people over, then they become reserved. For instance, as an example, if they want maybe juice or they want something from the kitchen, then they would come to me and say, like grab my skirt or whatever I'm wearing at that time and just go, Mommy, can I have this? So that's how they, they intake around people. I'm not sure if it's, it's a matter of being self-conscious or around with, with the surroundings, but uh, yeah, they, 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 they do that. Yeah. Well, I've got lots of cousins and lots of little babies in the house. So I try, whenever chance that I get, I try to get them to the house, to the granny's house, so that they can interact with their peers and see how the other kids are doing. I think even the area that we live in doesn't allow them to, to interact with that many kids. But when they are that side, then they are able to, to interact with them. And how do I put it? When you're around people, then they would want to sit with you instead of interacting with the other kids. And then later, after maybe a few hours or so, and then it's only then that they warm up to yeah. other kids. But that's the challenge. Yeah. Well, I'm a talkative person. I like interacting with people. So it does clash with theirs because they want to be reserved. They don't want to talk to other people while I want to speak to everybody. The advice that I need is, is, is if somebody can tell me how to handle the situation. Uh, especially when we are around people. When we're at home, it's fine. But when we go to parties and go to events, then it's, it's a problem because I can't really talk to, to, to people because I have to handle them for a few hours until they warm up to everybody. Mm. Okay, Petty. Well, I'm joined by Mzamo Mbuli, psychologist, to discuss this. Um, Mzamo, I have to ask you, what is your response for Petty Kataba, a introvert, extrovert? So it's interesting, but usually, like in her case, it's parents who are extroverted, who have a problem with children being introverted. So what's, what's happening with her is very normal. What we can advise her with is, for example, when she does go to events, she must go early. So to socialize the children with the environment and with the people as they're coming in one by one. To make it easier for them to, to interact. But she shouldn't force the interaction as, as, as a parent. Is it possible they will be a lot more shy and they might sort of outgrow it? Yes, it's, pos it's possible, depending on the individual child, obviously. Mm. It, it, is, it is possible. But some children are generally just extroverted. They don't mm. have a problem being in a social context, interacting with people, whether it's children, whether it's adults, they don't have a problem. But then you do have some children who are introverted. Mm. So what's important for, as a parent, is not much to force the interaction in Nabanya Bantu, but to, to teach the child to be more self-assertive in, within a social context. <laughs> so, for, so, for example, someone who's shy, mm. or a child who's very shy, they're usually a very thoughtful person. They always think about other people. So, for example, if they want something, they won't just go and take it. They'll come to mommy like, eh, mom, because they're, they're aware and conscious of other people around it. So mommy can instill, no, it's okay if you, if, you, if you could go there, maybe yourself. You don't have to ask me. Teach the child, not within the social context, in front of Abaya Band. And also, what will also help, don't label the child within that social context. Hey, but, but man, una ma, una or she's shy and so forth. Do that at home. No, not within the social context. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. In either case, is there ever a time met into Adler to somebody like you for help? Is there extreme cases of either or? So one is extremely 
extroverted or one is extremely introverted. Okay. So, for, for example, I sit um Daniel mm. and then all of a sudden they become introverted. We we should worry then because a child normally age konjalo. So there they should, they should be a reason why the child is acting like that. Or if the child is introverted in general, but my, my signs of, um, we call it selective mutism. Like, I have kuluma at all, even to you as a parent. Like, I have no That's when we should get worried as parents and um, come to people like myself as professionals to come and see what, what the problem is. Mm. A lot of the time, Batwadi, Babatla Horangwana, especially introverted children, Kebwana, who I think get... Uh, a lot of the flag because but what abu we sing for uncle dance for uncle and wana is an introvert mm. and you know mehadze be kapunta tetse but wana is actually an introvert and shouldn't mm. be forced to do those things king advice ya gago fa tswa di bana le di introvert especially um le bana ba banyane so i think respect personality young wana respect mm. the child's personality again don't don't force the child to do things. Because the more you force it, the more they'll, they'll resist and resent that behavior. Now I have to perform in front of people. The more they'll become even more reserved. So you're actually having the opposite effect of what you want your child to do. Mm. Just let them let them be. And then how could the extrovert na hanekilingwana? Nekibuwa too much. Walk into the house, kibi na and me will be like, yo, wana ona, utla buwa too much until it tabaza kuntung. How do you manage one sure. who is hyperactive or one or extroverted a lot, like beyond like me? Maybe, maybe, maybe a, a simple thing is like, maybe we don't say certain things to certain people. I think that that's, that's the main thing. But you're not going to change that extroverted child. Yeah, and you shouldn't stop it. No. It's in Korea when our papa do la fights, you were too much. No. It's a wrong action. Okay. How do we hear from our studio audience? Nalit Potoka, the introvert and extrovert for Nzam. Someone on. Yeah, I mean, I'm not on a phone. Like, I'm not a young man that's staying the time. Ukabang Aranja, and I sometimes wonder. Excellent, no Vuga, Angbuli says, Totterash. I'll be hyper, Totter. The next thing I'm going to learn the school in Sri Tule, the Mombuza. Yet, so, do I define my child as an introvert or an extrovert? Good question. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Who are you in one day? So, I'm going to say that 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 i Okay, well, thank you so much, Mzamo. We appreciate that. Introvert and extroverts, it's about Hudula Fatili Banabahao and understand them better and don't force them to be something that you are. Well, Otla Buala Rona Hego social media, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Kafela, Ki Raising Babies 101. Rabua Honano. Morajo Hari Papa, so we sit down with Dishi Daddy Stone Siate. But first, it's Baby's Health A to Z, the letter P. Welcome back to Raising Babies 101. It's time for Baby's Health A to Z, and today's letter is P for polio. Polio, or poliomyelitis, is a crippling and potentially deadly infectious disease. It is caused by the polio virus. The virus spreads from person to person and can invade an infected person's brain and spinal cord, causing paralysis. I'm joined by Dr. Portia Sitabela and Mr. Nkipiteni Miani, Manager of Public Health City of Joburg, and they are here to help us unpack polio. Welcome to you both to the show. Thank you. you. Portia, let me start with you. How common is polio in little children between the ages of zero and, say, five? Um, At the moment, uh, polio is not um, very common in our setting um, because of effective um, vaccination programs that have been running um, from as early as um, in the 1970s. Um, certainly prior to this, um, it had been a problem where you know um, there had been over hundreds and hundreds of thousands of cases that had been reported to um, 
at this present moment where there's less than um, 30 less than 40, sorry, um, cases that are reported of, co of polio worldwide. So certainly at the moment, it's not very common, um, but it's a, it's a public health risk. It's a public health um, hazard that uh, we're still um, trying to combat. And hopefully with time, we'll be able to eradicate it through um, the extended immunization programs that are currently running. Okay. So Mr. Miyai, how uh, does one prevent your a polio? Okay, um, we are fortunate uh, as city of Jobek or as South Africa that we are having vaccines which are safe and available at all our facilities. Ngachivenda, Rina Mashudu, Obana the vaccine, Zineza Kopi Wapan of South Africa for free. And then we give six doses of polio. The two are oral, Zineza Borezi Kopi Wamurunga Muromo. Uh, is polio zero and polio one mm -hmm. at six weeks. Mm -hmm. And then the rest are injectable, which is at six weeks, 10 weeks, 14 weeks, and 18 months. All those are free in all our facilities and it prevents polio. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So doctor, can you tell us what happens when someone doesn't go Aisengwana or takes a child to get a vaccination? Yeah. Uh, well, because we haven't completely um, eradicated the, the, the disease, I mean, um, worldwide, um, including um, South Africa, mm. um, at the moment, if somebody does not take the child, they certainly pose their child, they put a child at risk of contracting polio. Because if you, if you think about it, as much as we don't have so many cases here, mm. um, children may come in or the disease may be imported from other countries like, you know, there's countries that have been reported like Afghanistan, Nigeria um, and Pakistan, they're still struggling um, quite a bit with polio. Mm -hmm. um, so certainly if you do not vaccinate your child, you are not um, out of risk, if mm -hmm. I may say, although it is not so common in our setting in South Africa. So it would be advisable that we still continue and maintain our end um, and, and immunize children against polio. Um, and so, well, because the condition at the moment is not completely eradicated. So the okay. risk is still quite alive. The symptoms are then, who's born again, Jani, are my symptoms? Um, well, the symptoms um, from the point of infection can um, uh, uh, take place from day zero to a couple of um, a weeks after the child had been exposed to the virus. So symptoms would include um, headaches, um, fever, you know, vomiting, neck stiffness, pain in the limbs and so forth. And it depends uh, at the progression of the disease now. Some may um, then have um, symptoms of paralysis or weakness. Mm -hmm. Is it contagious? It, it certainly is contagious. Um, polio can be transmissible through um, the oral fecal route. So basically um, through the consumption of contaminated foods and water that um, have been you know, contaminated with um, infected feces. So which is why it's very important that um, individuals really wash their hands and maintain um, hygiene whilst preparing food and um, generally as well. Mm -hmm. Now, Mr. Munia, we did touch on the fact that uh, for immunization, yes. like let's say and you only realize Hangwana is much older, say three, four, for that particular vaccination. Is there a cutoff time that Wana Tuntatamae for those uh, vaccinations? There is no specific cutoff time for any child less than. Uh, 15 years, polio we can give up until under 15 years uh, vaccination. Uh, however, above that, uh, polio. Mm. Then, Araringwana Omisa dose Zawe. It's advisable for the mother to take the child to the clinic. Hange clinic, but those cover Munea, the dose, the net about the outstanding. And then, but the Mufa, a Chikara Chimelungana, Begena. For another dose, and then we get enough food for another dose. What are the the consequences of it? Your polio? Of course, of polio. Okay, um, for the children. For the children. Mm. Um, in a in a healthy child, um, immunocompetent um, child, some may be asymptomatic, where um, it will revert, it will reverse, and they will recover. But it may certainly progress, um, as I um, touched on earlier, where. Um, 
it goes and spreads to involve the central nervous system where now you get the meningitis, you get the spinal um, polio, um, and then you get the paralysis um, that, may, that may occur. So those are some of the most dire consequences. But there is also, because um, the weakness is, is also targeted at other muscle groups like breathing muscles, like the diaphragm, for example. So if that gets involved, then there might be um, difficulty in the person maintaining respiration. So they'll go into respiratory failure and may need to be, you know, assisted okay, with so ventilators. So you can end up in, in a wheelchair as you well? Can, you, yes, you end up in a wheel, you can end up in a wheelchair, you can, you can end up, you can die because you simply cannot breathe on your own. So is it curable? It's not curable. It is not curable. The fact that it's not curable is uh, quite a, an important uh, statement. What, what other advice, as we wrap up this discussion, would you like to give us? Um, number, the biggest advice I can give, vaccination. Vaccination. Um, there's certainly many theories and myths out there about vaccines in general. Um, but I think um, given the, the irreversibility of the, of the consequences of polio, uh, one would rather, you know, as opposed, to, uh, as opposed to risking it, rather be safe and make sure that your child um, is vaccinated. Mm -hmm. um, be aware, I mean, we've, uh, we've alluded to the symptoms. If you, there's anything that you're suspicious about, take your child to the clinic or any, near, any doctor that's near you um, that can actually assess the child and you know, um, make the diagnosis promptly should the diagnosis be present. So really just be vigilant with your child, know your child um, and vaccinate. Okay, and for you, Mr. Yeah. Unyas? From my side, as city of Jobek, we know that we're having waking mothers mm. who during waking time, they can't you know, access you know, the facilities because they're waking. Uh, we are rolling out you know, extended service hours where you know we'll be closing at roughly seven o'clock uh, in the evening each and every day so that those who are waking they can come and access you know the services for free yeah well that's the letter p for polio remember to vaccinate before 15 years as soon as baby's ready just take baby to go and get those vaccinations it's very very important because it's not curable so we'll be back after the break remember keep in touch on social media it's Dishy Daddy Stone Siate. We're raising babies 101. I'm so excited. It's my favorite part of the show. And today we are meeting entertainer as well as TV presenter, our very own Dishy Daddy of the Day, Stone Siate. Welcome. Hello, Carol. Thank you. Thank you. So I know for Unalima by four. Um, How are your daddy duties? Yo, wait to get simulated my heart. Because a simulated system where Banabaka Baboti, except one who doesn't live with me, um, but simulated homeschooling. Oh. Yeah, so um, it's doubled up. So on top of being Minister of Entertainment <laughs> and Minister of Finance, now I am Minister of Education. <laughs> <laughs> I see. So, what is the homeschooling decision? Why? I a good education. It's in synonymous with identity. Um, I believe Khore Banabaka Bakana well educated mm. while Bansi Bali awe ka sito sabone, bali awe ka culture ya bone and their heritage. So, make it bona Khore. And also, you know, you get a lot of bad treatment, especially how the uh, music industry and entertainment industry, where sometimes, you know, it's hills and valleys. You mm. know, some years are not as good as other years. And the way sometimes the school administrators come down on you, there's a little bit of a spice that you feel, Hore. It just doesn't have to do le le mm -hmm. You know, so I felt Hore haba le kuchai ke kona ko decide. Ke ba taro baitika muno mutapa, baitika Great Lakes region, baitika shaka Zulu, baitika di kosi bokama, pele baitika the ancient Greeks, baitika the ancient Romans. Batafi tamo esengkona no. 
Ya khutlwa. Ya nong Ellen ri bua ka di introvert li di extrovert mo maneng. Especially ha in your case I would say that the extrovert. Una le bana ba that I the introvert kontlung ka po all your children pretty similar as the extrovert. I think bana le bo schizophrenic nyana. Yeah, eh bana le moment tsa bone but I think um haba na le batho ba ba sa baitseng you know eh ba ikhogela ko morago and then once go nna le me ba tlwaela motho a teng personality ya bone ya tswa mara ba tshwana le nna because i think hantsi ke go la ke ithutile gore ke ska ke ska na la ke bully ne china shop you know tshantsi ke tle ke itsuru batho ba ntseng ke gone o ithuta re ke relate le bone yang because eh how tse na fela o ba personality ya go kopile na go ngwe o seitse batho you run the risk ya go ba offend So sometimes it's easier and better gore o o simole o itse batho they are not la khona go ba fa personality ya so bana ke ba tsona le nna in the regard okay and mo shwe ngape re bula ka sharing the importance ya go ruta bana go share le maybe the siblings sa bone ka the cousins sa bone you've got four children le share a jang kontlong Um, the, the good thing ka hore bana ba 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 be di ba tona ba around the same age then ba ba nyane they around the same age mm. so generally ha go bua ka go share it usually this the sets you know this pair and this pair and one thing e ke ba rutileng yona was that okay how to re let's say a sweetie mm. ne eh uh, one divides the sweet mm. and one chooses a piece that way it will always be fair Mm, to yeah. always be fair. How do we have a blended family? You are a blended family. Yeah. Um, what advice do you have for the blended family? And uh, how has it been for Wena? Um, na weti kibone kore kote mulo kwa ndeso ali bana ke ke ba file maina a se swahili. Because. Kupa blende maina kapo. Eh, ke maina like bi imani zahara zawati. Okay, Imani Maisha, Zahara Zawati, Ayana Akila, and Malaika. Mm-hmm. Um, so uh, the reason ke ba file maina a o ka gore ne ke sa ba tlo rubane le maina a mabedi a setswana tla bo ba fa maina bo koko tabe ya malebanta and then ka mo le tshantso we go ma tlhoseng you know lo wa fa maina bona so i thought how ka ba fa maina a something a combining the two cultures which is the root of our culture we know that our people migrated from great lakes region and chances are never was swahili um and swahili ke one you know one of the languages that is tayang our southern african languages so nekebe that's one of the reasons so i feel gore tshwantse re respect tane di culture tsa rona so um ke le ka go ba bontsha le gone gape gore go siame ga ba bua sthosa because i've never heard them speak about a father tongue it's always about the mother tongue hey, right get it. Hey. okay <laughs> best advice you could i tell on on parenthood cap of fatherhood and um what advice do you have for bo batuko gae um you know um i i don't think anyone has ever adule are hemon motsadi ontse ya na ontse ya me nkare gongwe an example of um it's a sad example but it's a real example and it's a life example and i did not grow up with my father um uh, my parents by divorce tse ke le monyane thata i was still a toddler and ke to godile le gore i'm not getting much contact with uh, my father and one thing that i taught myself was that i wanted he showed me an example of what not to be like to my children mm. and you know that's what i've tried to do um i i love him uh, i love his spirit he passed away when i was a metric and he gave me my genes i am i am because of what he gave me and you never know what his side of the story was in terms of the challenges he had so um ke thutile lesson ka so seo and um ke fa bana ke what he didn't give me Um, and I couldn't know what that is if he had not. Ralebo Gaston for coming in o tlo go wa le rona we really appreciate it sharing for what happens in your home we really appreciate that. Ke le ba khitse dia. Thank you. So there you have it. Our dishy daddy of the day Stone has shared with us Hora how he does it with his wonderful four children. Remember re tlo bo wa ko Facebook, Twitter, Instagram ke raising babies 101 and don't forget. Ha re tlokomele bana ba rona. Ka re bana ba rona e bo ka moso ba rona. For me Carol Lafori have a fabulous one. I'll see you again next week. Bye bye.
Welcome to Pep Talk, the parent's guide to raising your babies. The benefits and reasons to buying educational toys for your children are endless. Not only is it a fun experience that can be enjoyed by the child and the whole family, it also supports the early development and education of the child. I'll be going through a few items you can grab at Pep to get your child learning and playing. Toys are a great way to help build your child's senses as they are exploring each sense for the first time. So, brightly coloured toys such as these ones will be delightful for your child. Or you can get these toys that make different noises and your little one will be amused. Keep your infant and toddler away from small toys to avoid choking. Try to keep small objects out of reach Curiosity leads children to put unusual things in their mouth. Certain educational toys teach children about life lessons such as cause and effect, especially with toys that require your child to build a structure and then knock it down, like these. Educational toys can also be beneficial for increasing your child's motor skills and hand-eye coordination. So, balls and plastic golf sets like these will be great for your little one. <laughs> to get winning with Pip, get onto our social media pages and enter our weekly competition. You'll stand a chance to win some great prizes. See you again right here on Pip Talk. <laughs>